tap in Ferdinand over here at Bulldogging with Ferdinand. And, uh, come on. Uh, woke up in a rare form this morning. And, uh, noticed a notification on my YouTube channel. Talking about, you got a mentioned in a video by Master of Ball Bulldogs. So I go and look. And I can't find nothing. Nothing mentioning me. So this dude is over here talking, mentioning me in comments or on a video or whatever. And then deleting this shit. Good boy. After I uh after I get on there. Come on, man. What you doing over there? At least I got the balls to leave the shit up there. And, and, and to say the truth, like, bro, a lot of this shit he be saying just don't even make any sense. Just, it don't even make any sense at all. A lot of it. He be talking about how, uh, uh old things bulldogs don't have all these other colors. But yet, if you look up the colors that are supposed to be in a regular English Bulldog, which went into the making of the old English Bulldog, they have 18 different colors. Eight that are not recognized by the AKC, and 10 of them, 10 that are recognized by the AKC, including blue. And platinum and merle. Well, not merle. No, merle's one of the unrecognized ones. That's right. But like, uh, the seal, the blue they had up there. And that was recognized. Um, what else? Um, the gray. So you know what I mean? Like, you don't even know what you're talking about, bro. If you would go and look at the standard, of the regular English Bulldog that went into the making, that went into the old English Bulldog, you would see that half those colors that you're mentioning are supposed to be in the English Bulldog. So if they're in the English Bulldog and they went into the making of the old English Bulldog, you don't think those colors can come out? Come on, man. Look at this dog. You know what I'm saying? This dog is game is crazy. Ferg. Alright, come on. Come on. Stop it. Knock it off. Let's go. This way. We're not even going that way. No, 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 no. We're not going that way. Come on. We're going out back. We're going out and back where the field is. I don't even know why you're coming over here. Man, you hard-headed. But he a good dog, though. He is very smart. And he's starting to really uh, listen lately. But yeah, man, a lot of the stuff he's saying, you know what I mean? And like I said, that term pit bull, man, um, it's just crazy. It's like, how are you going to just throw that term on all these dogs? Like, like, you know, um, he was saying this morning, oh, Oh, these dogs with no paperwork and no pedigree. Yo, if you go back in the history of the American Pitbull Terrier, right? Especially the real dog men, the game dog men. They literally will tell you, you can find videos of them telling you that paperwork don't mean shit to them. If they got a dog that works, that's what matters, bro. They said, okay. So this is what, uh, I think it was either one of them. I think it, I forget what, you, who said it. It was one of the, I think it was maybe Earl Tudor who said it, but I was listening to a, a interview with him and I think he said it. He said, okay, now what if you had a dog that you had bred? The mother was a champion or grand champion and the father was a champion or a grand champion right 
you got all this paperwork, and then you go and throw them in the dog pit, and the motherfucker curs out. So all this paperwork, and 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 he said he's seen that before. He's literally seen that before. So just because the father is a grand champion and the mother is a grand champion and they got all this paperwork, come on. No, fur, come on. This way. So just because they got all this paperwork and all this shit on their dog doesn't mean a goddamn thing. And like I said, I grew up. I grew up in the hood. I grew up down the road from a house that that's all they had was fighting dogs. No, no, no. Come on. This way. That that's all they had was fighting dogs. Okay? So, and then one of my best friends growing up, his father was one of the best breeders in all of Connecticut. Um, and I'm not going to put no names out there because, you know, there was, there was, uh, illegal practices going on. You know what I mean? And he had, he had dogs that would, that would roll. You know what I'm saying? So, but he had this one dog and I always asked him like, that's not a pit bull. What is that? You know? And I always like, yo, that's not a pit bull. It was just a fucking beast, bull, crazy looking uh, mad, aggressive, mad, gamey, go after anything, right? But, only if he said so. So he could stop it in one word, and start it in one word. And the control he had, I'll never forget, I was like, how did you do that? And he, he, you know, he taught me some things. And, uh, but, he told me there's a dog that's lesser known in the pit bull genre, in the bulldog genre, and it's known as a throwback, right? Or a old pit bulldog, or a British bulldog, or a bully pit. And they said sometimes it happens when you combine a, a bully with a pit bull. Sometimes it happens straight from the from the pit bull. You get a throwback, and it looks like one of these dogs, or. Sometimes it happens when you breed a uh, English bulldog straight to an American pit bull terrier. And what happens is these dogs come out just with a fucking stick up their ass. Like like they I don't know, it's just like in them to fucking be one of the most rowdiest, roughest, toughest, tumbling dogs you ever seen in your life. And just is like like I don't know if they're too dumb to realize pain. Or what, but they just don't even, they don't even think about the pain. They just do it, just to do it. You know what I mean? Like they just, like they could be getting hurt and they just don't even care. They still going, they're still trying to tear whatever it is that's hurting them up. So, and these were the dogs that were really the pit bulls that everybody is talking about. That everybody said they were the most meanest, toughest dogs around. Um, these are the pit bulls. They're actually a little more on the bulldog end. Like they would have a shorter head. Um, they would have a wider jaw, wider head, and shorter. A little, not much. They would still have the long muzzle. Under a minute now, folks. Sorry, my space is a little low, but you know they would have a. A dog like that. But yeah, that's where all these dogs like, like, that are attacking people. And that's what these dogs are. They're called bully pits or old pit bulldogs. And, you know, if you aren't ready for these dogs, you shouldn't get one. And it is a lot of it is how you train them and how you treat them and how you socialize them and how you bring them up. Because you could have one of those dogs and treat it the greatest. And socialize them. And they turn out to be perfect. Like this one. And that's what he is. But I'd like to thank everybody at the last 15 seconds. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. To everybody watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. We love y'all. And have a great, wonderful day, man. Peace and love.